Hi, this is Ann from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to connect script lettering in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, we're in Illustrator, so let's create a new document. We'll come over here to Create New, and I'm just going to come up here to Print, and I'll choose Letter, and then we'll Create. Okay, so now let's type some text. I'm going to hit T on my keyboard and just click one time. And now I'm going to type sports. I'll get my selection tool and then we'll drag a corner. And I'm also going to hold shift and make this pretty big. Now I'm going to change the font to a script font. Um, let's choose letters of summer. Okay. Now, a lot of times, if you're choosing a script font, the, the font will connect really well, but sometimes they just don't. And so you need to fix them yourself. And luckily, it's pretty easy to go in and connect them. I've got a few different ways of doing this. Um, first is tracking. And tracking adjusts the space between all the letters of the whole word at once. So let's try that first. I'm going to hit Option and my right arrow. Okay, and this is looking pretty nice. The second way I adjust the spacing is with kerning. Kerning adjusts the space between just two letters. So to do that, I can hit T on my keyboard or get over here to your text tool and just click between one of the two letters. And then we'll use option left and right to move that letter a little closer or further away. So I'm gonna arrow over between the O and the R and we'll get these pretty close. So you can see they don't line up exactly, but um, we want to do this first and then later we'll connect them manually. I'm going to option left arrow to connect the T to the R and then the same with the S. Now the third way that I sometimes use is called touch type. And to get to this, you'll need to get on your selection tool and then hit shift T and that'll bring you to this tool right here. It's usually underneath your type tool. We can just click on one letter and then we can just adjust that one letter. I can make it uh, bigger, which I think it looks pretty nice, a little bit bigger. I can also come down here to the bottom right corner, click and drag and make it skinnier. And if I come up here to the one above the square, I can rotate it. So that is pretty fun to play around with. Maybe with this S we can move it down a little bit so that we have a little more space in between these two areas. And maybe we can move the R up a little bit to line up a little better with that O. Okay, I'll get back on my selection tool. Now I have the text pretty close to how I want it. So I'm going to do hold option and just drag this off to the side of the artboard. And what this does is it makes a copy. Um, I'm going to keep this as live text. And this is also helpful because I will always know what font this is because next we are going to outline this text. So let's go ahead and do that by hitting shift command O on the keyboard and that shift control O for you on a PC. Um, we can also go to type and create outlines. Okay. I'm going to hit Z to zoom in and then draw a box around all these. And now I want to connect all of these little pieces that cross over. I'm going to come down here to the Pathfinder window. If you don't have this open, you can come up to window and then go down to Pathfinder. Okay. So in the Pathfinder, we have this first one, which is called unite. And that's the one we want. We want to unite these pieces into one shape. So I'm going to click that. Okay. And now I can see that they are united into one piece. We can also check this by hitting command Y or control Y on a PC to see exactly how the shapes come together and then control Y or command Y to get back out of that view. Okay. So this piece right here is not connected very nicely. So to do that, let's hit in, which is our pencil tool. Um, the pencil tool is great for redrawing lines and you can also toggle the smooth tool by hitting option on your keyboard. 
Okay, so let's redraw this line. To use the pencil tool, you need to start out on a line, redraw it however you want, but end up going the same way right on that same line. And it should redraw very nicely. Now, if yours didn't work as smoothly as that, you can double click on the pencil. I like to keep it very smooth. These are the options for the pencil. And we'll just say, okay. If yours is jagged, you could also hold option after you do that and just go over the points a little more to get them a little smoother. Let me just fix this. Okay. All right, now I'm taking a look at the whole font and it's looking like it's in pretty good shape. Everything else looks nice. So now I want to make this one piece. What we did in Pathfinder actually will connect everything, but it only makes a group. So these things over here are one piece, this is one piece, and the S is another piece. And if you want these all to be seen by Illustrator or other programs as one piece, you have to do what's called a compound path. And so to do that, we'll come up here to Object, go to Compound Path, and then Make. You can also hit Command-8 on your keyboard or Control-8 on a PC. And that's it. All the text is connected now and it's just one piece. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, just hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.